I'm famous for my focaccia, so I'm gonna teach you how to make it. So I taught myself how to make this from Sarah Jim Pell's New York Times focaccia recipe. So use that for measurements. But there's a few slight things I change. One, after I mix the yeast mixture, I let it sit for like 10 minutes, but I definitely make sure those little bubbles are formed before I start adding the flour and the kosher salt. As you see here, I mix with a wooden spoon. Look at the lighting in my kitchen. Okay, so you're gonna mix it together until it's well mixed, not a lot of dry spots. Everything is pretty evenly distributed like this. Then you just take some olive oil. I frankly do not know how much. I think the recipe calls for a quarter cup and I just kind of drizzle it around and then I roll that ball in the olive oil. I was a little heavy handed today. Okay, she's looking gorgeous, amazing. Cover her in saran wrap and set somewhere warm. I choose an area of our house that I know gets no direct air conditioning and is in the sun a little bit. Here's the other thing I do differently. I let it sit sometimes overnight, but like for a long time. And she's gonna come out looking like this. Then you're gonna take two forks and you're gonna fold it over itself into a ball again. Brush your pan with butter. I use salted Kerrygold. Then put that ball in the pan, make sure it's covered in oil again, spread it out a little bit and I let it rise in the oven again for another couple of hours. Oven to 425. And the most different thing that I do, I take probably a tablespoon plus of kosher salt and like a cup of warm water and I pour that over the top to fill the divots. I really think this makes a difference in the rise, the top not burn, but if it's starting to get brown, cover it in foil like that and here's how it comes out. Let me know if my instructions and changes were helpful or if you need more information. But I mean, look at that, heaven.